So let us continue looking at the Scriptina, Scriptina on Jira, Cloud, Post Functions, Scripted Post Functions and uh, we have been looking at this workflow where we have uh, this transition called on hold and we basically want to do something when the transition when the transition has happened of course using post function so we have looked at uh, almost all the script runners post function the built in post functions that will let you do some wonderful automation without writing any code and i believe there is just one more left so if i click on the add post function link and then if i go to script in our post function let us see what else we can do now apart from these built-in post functions so we have looked at almost all of them except the run script because this is something i want to cover cover separately but i today want to take a look at this post function called transition parent issue now this is really interesting because uh, let us say you are uh, let us say you're working on uh, on issues and you have subtask and the moment you resolve your subtask you also want to resolve your your parent and uh, you can do that using this post function i believe so let us try if uh, if it works and how we can use it so i will give this post function a name like uh, transition parent and let us keep it simple let us transition the parent uh, to done when all the when let us say a subtask is, uh, is is resolved so of course we can have more conditions in this uh, and we can make it uh, more relevant uh, by adding maybe um, additional code but today let us do a simple thing first and then we'll see what else we can do um, in uh, future videos so it says transition comment i don't really want to add a comment and then it says uh, transition id now it is basically asking you to provide the transition id of uh, the issue i believe this is applicable for uh, parent and uh, you have to specify the parents issues transition that the applicable transition that is uh, relevant for that particular uh, issue of course make sure that transition is uh, uh, relevant i mean uh, you, if the issue is at a specific status in the workflow then there should be a transition that you want to execute so this transition id is something that uh, you need to specify here and uh, you can also specify the transition name but i think transition id is uh, better because it will be unique so let us uh, find the transition id first and uh, for doing that i will go to the and by the way we are using the same workflow for subtask and also for the parent so let us click on the text mode and that is one benefit benefit of text mode you can find the transition id now the transition transition id if you look at this workflow it is a simplified workflow and uh, let us say the moment you resolve the issue or the moment you move the issue to done status you want to also move the parent to done so that the transition is uh, the transition is done and the transition id is 31 so now we know the transition id and i think uh, it is simple because it is a simplified workflow so we don't have to worry about uh, whether this is applicable or not because you can go to any state from any state basically so let us let us specify 31 here and uh, i think this is it maybe uh, you just want to update and uh, very validate it very quickly so what will happen now the moment you move the issue to on hold and if it is a subtask then it will move the parent to to done um maybe in this case i think uh, it is better to use uh, on holds transition id which is uh, 41 so let us keep it consistent so basically when you move the subtask to on hold you will also move uh, the parent to to on hold so let us modify this uh, post function and instead of 31 i will use uh, 41 let me check one more time yeah it is 41 on hold because we are doing this uh, because this post function is applicable on on, on hold transition so i'll specify 41 here and uh, i will click on uh, update 
and then we'll uh, publish the draft. I don't really want to save the backup. Publish. And I think we are good now. So what I'll do, I will first go to the issue and I will make sure it is not on hold. And by the way, it, this particular post function will not really work for this parent, I believe, because it is not a subtask, but we have to test it. Like we have to see how it shows in the execution history because we are making a transition, but I think the transition will and should fail because uh, it is not really relevant. And uh, I want to see basically, I want to check. So I'll click on all, on hold. It, it might do something else based on other post functions, but uh, if I go to my workflow and if I edit the workflow and if I go to the transi to the post function and look at the execution, I should see something like it failed or whatever. L let us see. I'll click on post functions. And there is no error. But I think it didn't do anything because it is not a, I mean, okay. So there is no error, but it says transition parent called when issue an three is not a subtask. Okay. All right. Mm, I think this is the correct description. Um, instead of saying that there was an error, it is basically telling you that the transition was not really, I mean, there was no need because it was not a subtask. But what I'll do, I'll move the issue to maybe to do. And then what I'll do, I'll go to one of the subtasks. Let us say we go to this particular task. And uh, what will happen if we move the issue to to on hold status. And for doing that, I will try if I can do it from this particular view. Within, I mean, I, I don't really want to go inside the subtask. I can do it from this uh, menu here for subtask, which is task number one, I'll select on hold. And this is now on hold. I think I will wait for like few seconds before refreshing the page. Because I think the last time when we refreshed, it didn't really work. Immediately, there was like a there was some kind of a delay. So let me just uh, okay, so it didn't work yet but I will uh, try to refresh it and wait for it to... Yep, it worked. Perfect, as expected. It, there was slight, there was a slight delay. And I can understand because it is not really... I mean, these calls are happening using REST API. And as compared to what you can do on server, on server things are really fast. But it worked. And if I now go to my workflow, and if I now take a look at the execution history, it should tell me that this transition happened and uh, I can see here two transitions and there is a reason for that. The first transition happened and triggered or rather the post function was triggered because it was at the subtask level. So it changed the status of the parent to on hold. But because parent was also moved to on hold and we are working on the same workflow, it tried to execute uh, I mean, this post function was executed one more time, but it, it didn't really work for the parent because it was a parent. So just to let you know why we have to, but I guess we can pro probably write in the condition of our post function somewhere in the, in the script that don't do it if it is a parent. But I think this can be, I mean, th to be honest, uh, this specific, uh, this specific post function can be really useful when you are, uh, let us say trying to maintain or sync the status of the issues and they are in some kind of hierarchy. Like let us say you have subtasks and subtasks are linked, subtasks sub -tasks are also part of, of, they are part of a parent. And if that particular parent is also part of, let us say some other linked issue, so you can al always write more, M maybe you can write your own custom post function or maybe you can write a script, some kind of a listener. We have talked about listeners in the past where you can sync the status uh, for issues that are linked to each other by using parent subtask or maybe using the issue linking feature in Jira. So we will continue looking at and exploring uh, 
various wonderful things that we can do with the script now for Jira on cloud. So far we have covered all the built-in post functions, but we will also take a look at the option, the post function that uh, will let you write your own custom script. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you. Thank you very much.